Uh, good afternoon. We are downtown in Mandan, North Dakota. Are we filming on there as well? Hey, uh, so we are uh, in Mandan, North Dakota. I'm going to need you guys to uh, swipe up and share. Make sure that people see what's going to happen here. We are at Morton County, uh, the Combined Law Enforcement Center. Uh, I'm going to be serving the Morton County Sheriff with a letter notifying them of significant human rights violations. Uh, right now we're across the street uh, and we are making sure that we are in a uh, legal area as we kind of prepare for that. I'm going to uh, ask you to, to please share the video so that we get people watching. Uh, we were told to be aware that we could possibly be arrested uh, here today. There's a heavy police presence circling around the block uh, and they are aware that we're here for sure now. So I'm going to hand over the camera and uh, I'm going to give you some context as to what uh, is happening. So across the street from us is the Combined Law Enforcement Center. Uh, ironically enough, uh, they were just given uh, probably 200 donuts, I'm not joking, uh, some soda, some refreshments, and some food from, uh, from people who were coming to, and you can actually see them right now behind me, uh, they brought uh, refreshments to Morton County to thank them for their work. Uh, we have a little bit of a different uh, present, uh, which is a violation letter, basic human rights. So I'm going to go ahead and flip the camera around. So that's uh, Morton County Combined Law Enforcement and Correction Center. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and hand the phone over. And we're going to, so you, you can see across the street, those are the ladies who brought their refreshments to uh, apparently donuts for macing. That is the, uh, apparently the reward for abusing human beings is to provide refreshments and uh, a, say, a say of thanks. As we drove into Mandan today, uh, there were signs all across the town saying thank you to law enforcement. Uh, you know, obviously here inside the city there is a large presence of, of you know local community members. We're going to cross the street now, and I'll remind you on film. Uh, me and my team are currently acting in uh, a completely legal capacity in the freedom of the press, exercising our constitutional right to free speech. In doing so, we are unarmed and we are here peacefully to deliver a notice of violation of human rights, which has been also forwarded to the United Nations as well as to Amnesty International. And we will continue to forward those notices as well to other organizations. You need to get your coat? <laughs> One of my team members thought he could be good without his coat, so let's get him his coat. Morton County Mandan Combined Law Enforcement and Correction Center. Uh, I'm sure that when uh, people are arrested and they're not put in cages that they are possibly housed here at this location. Uh, so uh, there are some officers in the back there that can see us. They are up here to be watching us. Go ahead and step up. Jacob, go ahead and start filming. So we are going to deliver the following letter today. You guys can go behind me with a taser or something. Uh, we're going to deliver the following letter to Sheriff Kirkmeyer today. Delivered in person, December 3rd, 2016, to the office of Kyle Kirkmeyer. Again, delivered in person. Dear Sheriff Kirkmeyer, my team has completed a has conducted a complete investigation into matters related to human rights at the site now commonly referred to as the Dapple Camp. After reviewing eyewitness accounts and hundreds of hours of video, as well as thousands of photos, I must confront a dire situation in your county, one I believe you are personally responsible for. We have determined without any doubt that significant human rights violations have occurred. Protesters at the Standing Rock site are exercising their constitutional rights granted under the First Amendment. 
They are doing so on federally managed land under their constitutional right to freely assemble. This basic freedom is at the core of our free society, a society which funds your office, You're gonna sir. You're going to have company in a minute. A society who you have the duty to protect, not intimidate. My team has concluded that your office has misrepresented basic facts about your actions that, it, that have been taken against protesters at this site. Some, though not all law enforcement officials, have taken to referring to these people as eco-terrorists. This is not only incorrect, it is inhuman and cruel. Further reports indicate that your office has supported the executive order issued by North Dakota Governor Dalrymple on November 28th. This order has had the effect of blocking supplies and crucial care to protectors at camp. It is without question that you are acting in the interest of the financial institutions responsible for the Dakota Access Pipeline. You do not appear to have taken any action to protect the constitutional rights of those utilizing their First Amendment rights to protest at this site. It has been alleged that law enforcement acting on your behalf have engaged in acts and tactics that are basic violations of human rights. This includes caging protesters, spraying them with freezing water and mace. It also includes firing rubber bullets at journalists. To be clear, these matters are still under investigation by my team and I cannot fully attribute all of these actions to your department. However, it is clear that you have failed to act to repeated complaints of these abuses by your department. I'm requesting a full inquiry into this department and its use of militar militarized tactics at this site. It is for these and several other reasons that I'm reporting to several international agencies your actions as sheriff. I would beg you, sir, to please act in the best interest of your state and personally remove yourself from handling all matters related to the Dakota Access Pipeline. I would further ask that you immediately vacate Morgan County Sheriff's Department from the area and that you launch an investigation into tactics they have used to suppress peaceful protest. Again, examples are plenty, but some that have been widely reported are spraying of nonviolent protectors with mace, shooting rubber bullets at reporters acting in no other capacity than documentation, and of course, the well, the well journaled use of freezing water, which was sprayed on protectors in the very conditions you now claim are so dangerous. Now more than ever, you must hand over all operations of security and enforcement to the federal government. You yourself have complained about the costs associated with these operations. This matter is and should remain a federal issue. Failing to act now to do this would only further demonstrate what I believe is your willingness only to protect your own connections to these industries associated with this pipeline. As I said to the governor, your actions, sir, have consequences. History will judge not only how you have responded, but what you do next. Signed, Dan Roll, Director of Ready Progressive, which includes my address and contact information. So I'd like to point out that we are here nonviolently, that we're exercising our First Amendment rights under the very flag that I'm standing beneath. Journalists across the country who've attempted to do the same thing that I'm doing today have been jailed and charged with erroneous felony charges, charges which could destroy their lives and charges which cripple the very basic fundamentals of free speech in our country. If I must be jailed to deliver this message, then I must be jailed but hopefully Morton County Sheriff will have the capacity to understand, to look inward, and to understand that the world is watching, and we understand that water is life, and that basic human rights are more important than the financial connections the Dakota Access Pipeline is affording. So let's try to deliver the letter. letter to deliver to the sheriff's office.
So for those of you watching on the stream right now, I do have to point out, uh, we have like exploded our data usage. Probably not a good word to use. Uh, thanks. Uh, our data usage is like off the charts here. So sometimes we, we get disconnected, but uh, our bill for, uh, for data use out here in North Dakota has gone through the roof. We're just waiting for someone to uh, come to the door right now. Someone said send you a hotspot. <laughs> that wouldn't be a bad idea. Do you want to recap where you are real quick? Yeah, sure. So right now, for those of you... Oh, <coughs> like we have someone. Oh, we have one, two... Hello. Hi, sir. How can we help you? Uh, I'm just here to deliver a letter to the chair. Okay. All right. Thank you. Make sure that gets here. Uh, is it signed so we know who it's from? Okay. Thank, Thank you very much. much. Thank you very much. Well, that went that went much better than it did at the governor's office. So, so there you go. The letter has been delivered uh, to the sheriff. It was actually a representative of the, of the sheriff. They came with two people, I guess, just in case you know somebody got a paper cut or something. To be fair, we had three people. That's fair. We did have three people. Yes, my security force in, includes a frail. 30 year old woman and my 14 year old son so uh yeah so quick recap uh we have delivered the letter uh notifying the sheriff of his actions it felt really good a um, couple things you can do uh we will be continuing direct action our next step is to go out to the camp today please if you can support our efforts uh gofundme.com forward slash dan at dapple be very much appreciated um we're here to fight for you, to fight for the water, and uh, this is how action gets done in this state. My group and organization has contacted the United Nations and Amnesty International. Uh, if anyone has any suggestions of international groups that you'd like us to reach out to, please do so. Uh, but that's it for now. Thank you so much for tuning in, and we'll see you, we'll see you soon.